Enchanté. Welcome to the much requested grand tour of Chateau de Bory. Um, I've been super overwhelmed by the amount of response I've had for just having two videos out. Anyway, uh, many of you asked to have a full tour, so I am going to pretty much hand it over to my daughter Olivia, who did some touring uh, with a camera while we were there, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> My name is Olivia, and I just needed to make a little intro to preface this all because it's really shaky. I'm not a videographer, I'm not a YouTuber, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so grab a Dramamine or a gravel if you're it, Canadian. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but also the good news is that my mom got a gimbal. <laughs> a new gimbal so next video will be much smoother we hope we're working on this this is all new for us <laughs> okay enjoy <laughs> gave me this trusty tripod and I'm going to film a tour for YouTube. So without further ado, let's start here. We are in the living room, the formal living room. Um, that is not a dead body. It is in fact a chandelier. That's Chloe. She will be our secondary tour guide. She's just a little shy. Um, great. Okay, so yes, we are in the formal living room. As you can see, it's got this nice blue on the walls, which actually we don't really mind. Um, maybe eventually we'll transition to a different paint color, and obviously the furniture in this room is, um, quite eclectic. We're not quite where we would like to be, um, in terms of the furnishings. We want to get a chandelier on the ceiling, um, and we've had an electrician come in already. However, it doesn't sound like it will happen until around October. So, um, pending a chandelier in the living room. I'll take you outside these doors here, which are really cool. We step out onto this nice little, I don't know, balcony kind of thing. Um, here we have part of the front exterior. As you can see, the shutters are... Um, not in the best of shape. Those will be getting repaired in the spring by a fellow that um, I guess specializes in shutters. Um, here we have kind of like a front yard situation. The boys cut down the trees that were around there, um, opening up the view a bit more. We have our side yard over there and then the driveway is out there. Chloe, come on. Come on. Come on. Come and say, good girl. Okay, now I will take you to the dining room. Just through these doors, we'll enter into the dining room. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll see that we got um, this lovely dining table and chairs delivered the other day. Um, we were able to install a chandelier. I love the molding here. Um, we have this nice cupboard and vase and decor beginning to accumulate. Um, these chairs will be upholstered according to the wallpaper we choose. In each room, I've gone ahead and made these fun little note stickies for like what needs to get done. So imagine this room, not this color, but instead like a beautiful whimsical mural-esque wallpaper and it will kind of be within the moldings. So we're gonna get moldings on the walls and within the moldings will contain the wallpaper. And then I assume we'll probably go for like a white on the exterior. All depends on what we choose as the wallpaper. 
All right, now we're gonna go into the study or the library, aka the bibliotheque. Bear with me, I know the color is um, catastrophic. It's giving booger, it's giving diarrhea. Um, we don't love. We want to tear down the wallpaper in this room and completely redo the moldings of the walls. <laughs> we were able to get a chandelier here as well. Um, yeah, this awesome fireplace with a cool mirror on top. Um, imagine a study, so we're gonna get like leather couches here. We'll have a TV maybe here if we're trying to be American and modern, but more likely like a bookshelf situation with lots of books that we accumulate um, time. So I'm excited to see how this room comes along. It also has these doors that come out and we can take a little peek at the side yard here. So. That's a ginkgo tree right there. We've just only begun to tackle the tip of the iceberg in terms of yard work. Um, we're on five acres and this is a cliff here where the um, original owners built in these like cool cave rooms, which I will show you in another tour. All right, let's step back inside and continue on the tour. So if we walk through here, I'm actually going to close this door to show you. It's kind of like a sneaky secret door. Not so secret. It's quite obvious it's a door. It kind of looks like that's just the door. It's like a little weird tiny door. But anyways, we walk through here and we're in kitchen number one. <laughs> And by that, I mean, yes, there's two kitchens in this house and I will explain that momentarily. For now, we're in kitchen number one. You see we have two paint colors on the wall. They're actually different colors here and we've gone with this one, which is just a bit richer. We have, however, run into some problems with the walls, particularly on this side due to water damage. So, it's gonna be a while before we can actually go ahead and paint as we found out. We were hoping to get that done during this trip, but it will have to happen later in the year. Um, the checkered tiles from afar look really nice, but up close, they um, definitely need to be replaced. So we're thinking here, this is gonna be like, you know, the breakfast room. Um, we'll have, we'll keep this table. We'll put in like a counter space with a dishwasher and a sink. I think we want to take this out. Don't love it. It's not the highest quality. This is an awkward position and height. Um, so that will hopefully be getting taken out eventually. Um, so now let's go into kitchen number two. So here we have this door frame. Um, originally we were like, okay, we can take down this wall and open up the kitchen and have a nice big kitchen. Well, no, turns out this is a foundational wall, so it can't come down. So we just got to work with it. Kitchen number two will obviously house the oven, all the appliances that you would typically see in a kitchen. Um, we have the fridge here and the sink situation here. This is all gonna go. We'll suit it with some beautiful cabinetry. Um, and then this is a vent, which I've nearly cracked my head open on several times, but this is going to be taken down as well. The oven will be elevated because it looks quite short and it is quite short and we are tall people. Um, and we will redo the tiling. We'll be taking off all this tiling and just doing a normal wall. Um, and, oh, and then the floors. So we want to obviously match the floor from kitchen number one to kitchen number two so that it has some kind of succinctness, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm excited for this to come along because I think of all the rooms on the downstairs, the kitchen has the most renovation needed for it. All right, through this door from kitchen number two, 
we are in the entry, which is perhaps where I should have started this door, but alas. This is the front door technically, however, we don't really use it as the front door, and I don't think the previous owners really did either, but we shall see as time goes on how we change the use of the space. So this is the entry. We have this interesting kind of mosaic tiling of the floor. We were able to paint the walls this trip white. They were originally lavender, which you'll see upstairs on that part of the tour. Um, we got this gorgeous um, kind of cabinet chest thing and this nice mirror on top. We were able to install these lovely sconces and from the hall, or excuse me, from the entryway, you are able to enter to the dining room, which we saw already. Um, oh, I also wanna show you the tiny bathroom. So in here, it's just your run of the mill tiny bathroom. We wanna take down the tiling, we wanna redo the floors, and we wanna make it this like fun, funky little wallpapery tiny like powder room situation, um, zhuzh it up. So yes, that is the entry. Those are the stairs up. We have these like art deco stairs, which are kind of cool. Um, through this, we go down to the basement where you'll find like a wine cellar and all this other cool old stuff, but that will be for another time. Through these doors, we are walking into the, what I call the green room. We're not quite sure what this room is gonna be. So if you have any suggestions, um, maybe leave a comment below because at the moment, we're thinking it's going to be kind of like an informal living room situation. Unsure yet. At the moment, it's just storing all of our construction crap. <laughs> and we actually use this as the front door. So it's a really cool room. It doesn't receive a ton of light. And I think these were originally wood panels on the top and the previous owner attempted to paint them white, but the wood like stain seeped through, making it this kind of strange beige color. Plan in here, paint it probably white to match the entry. We just like are tired of having these like intense colors everywhere and we wanna make it just brighter um, and more succinct, like I said. I love the giant fireplace in here. Um, so depending on how things change in the house, it might, remain as a kind of like the mudroom entry, side door entry, I'm not sure. Any ideas, we would love to hear them down below. And then through these doors, we're back into the living room. And there's Chloe. Hi, are you having to cuddle on the couch? Okay. So that concludes the tour of the downstairs. I hope you enjoyed. With any ideas or suggestions, please comment below. We would greatly appreciate input, um, like interior design expertise or anything like that, especially when it comes to the kitchen. I think um, all suggestions are greatly appreciated because there's a lot of like logistical things. So creativity is definitely needed at this point. Okay, hopefully I attach a tour of the upstairs next. So that should seamlessly transition to that now. Okay, bye. <laughs>
lots of bugs here. Okay, so let's start in this room. Through here, we have room number one. Pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of possibilities for this room at the moment because soon you will see that there is a ward of bathrooms all in one place. So as a result of that um, wonderful design decision, all of the ba uh, excuse me, all of the bedrooms don't have um, ensuite bathrooms. So we might need to kind of take a wall down here and add in an ensuite bathroom to the bedroom across the way and just make everything make more sense, essentially. So um, that's one possibility for this room. The other is just keeping it as a nice little room. We would get a lovely chandelier in here because it has these lovely high ceilings. Um, yeah, the possibilities are endless, but here is room number one. It has kind of an ensuite bathroom, I suppose. Um, kind of creepy turquoise bathroom. Um, not my favorite place to be, but alas, it is what it is. Not sure what the plan is for that. Here we have the stairs going to the attic, the third floor, um, where there are more bedrooms, which I will do a tour of next. All right, continuing on. So I'm gonna go across the hall here because I mentioned the ward of bathrooms and I wanna show you what I mean. So through this hall, we have one, two, three, four, five bathrooms. Five bathrooms all in one wing. So here's one of the functional, I mean, they're, they all work but we've kind of all just like chosen our own bathroom to have. This is mine. <laughs> um, pretty messy, obviously. Really unsure what we're gonna do here. Um, sounds like in that back, further back area where I just were, was, we might turn that into an actual bedroom and then there would be, this, be this bathroom would be the ensuite bathroom for that bedroom. That's one possibility. Um, the other is just keeping them. I'm not really sure. We should ask my mom. We're a ways away from getting to the point where we can think about that part of the renovation. Right now we're focused on like the cosmetic and functional aspects of being able to actually live here. So the bathroom ward is not really a priority at this point. So we haven't really processed and planned and sat down with an architect to figure out precisely what the hell to do here for now they work and they're good enough so yes bathroom ward complete moving on let's go up these lovely stairs and we can go to my bedroom first so we had a delivery of some furniture here um including this lovely dresser with a mirror vanity mirror and then I love this view out, this giant tree into the driveway, which is kind of shady. And this one as well. We have a bed. This bed is not gonna be the permanent bed. I, the plan that I kind of decided on for this room is I want it to be blue, um, like a lovely light blue. I want the bed to be, we ordered a bed that's like the kind of similar style of like the upholstered kind of, king queen i don't know what to call it vintagey bed and it's gonna be in a blue velvet like a bright blue velvet and it's really cute however i do think the the bed sizes in france are a little different than they are in the states where we have like a queen king full etc these sizes are closer to like a full particularly with these vintage beds this one is not going to stay here and this one's not going to stay here we, oh, we need to figure out what we're doing with the beds here. This room is so big, I think it deserves to have a bigger bed. Um, and I'm just so excited to style this room. This is my favorite room in the house, of course, and it's mine. Okay, hallway, it needs to be painted white as well to match the entry and this um, landing area. This is the second room. 
um, sleigh bed, probably not going to be the final bed in this room. Um, this room has probably one of the better views, as you can see. Stunning. Um, and obviously it is not complete. I really haven't decided if I'd mind this wallpaper. I think I do. I think I don't love it. I think it could be better. I definitely want this gone, this wallpaper to be gone. Um, I want a chandelier up as well. I'm, I'm, I'm probably most excited to style the bedrooms. Um, so with time, we'll get to the point where we get to go upstairs and start taking down wallpaper and getting to the cosmetic details of each room. So next we have this tiny skinny room. And back in the day, they used these as the, the closets. And so you can see here, it also has a lovely view, but partially covered by a shutter. Um, this door connected to the room that I just showed you, and then this door connects to the room next door. So right now the plan here is that it's actually kind of the perfect size to turn into two ensuite bathrooms for the corresponding rooms on either side. So we'd put a wall in between, we'd move that door a little further down, and boom chakalaka, we have two bathrooms. So that's kind of the preliminary plan for those, that room and this room to have ensuite bath bathrooms. You can see here how my room connected to that first room I showed you and how perhaps if we're able to, we could take down a wall and attach a bathroom down a flight of stairs um, to have an ensuite bathroom in this, this bedroom. We shall see, time will tell. Next, we have this bedroom. This one has a fireplace, which is fun. Hate this wallpaper with all my being. Needs to go. I'm excited for this room. It has a lovely view as well. And I'm thinking we'll tear down the wallpaper. This door will get moved slightly over to have access to the bathroom. And then the bed will probably go there. I'm excited to style this room as well. It'll be a a blast get a chandelier i just need a chandelier in every bedroom it's been my dream since i was little to have a chandelier this is the primary bedroom it is nice large and spacious um this probably won't be the final bed but we shall see as well we have a lot of floating beds um with rooms to go to and plenty of rooms to i love the view here this is one of the only rooms that has the view of the side yard which is stunning stunning queen so yeah pretty jealous this is where my mom stays obviously she has a stunning queen fireplace and mirror um yeah so cute so plan for this room is obviously gonna also remove the wallpaper we want the chandelier gone i think it deserves like a beautiful gold crystal chandelier I will insert some inspo pics. I can't decide if I want it to be like eclectic chic or like modern chic. I think it could go both ways and be absolutely gorgeous. So we shall see. I think it depends on what furniture my mom accumulates in here. Right at the moment, she has this nice little dresser. Not sure if it'll stay. I don't think it should. <laughs> and then attached to her, her room, she does have an ensuite bathroom already, which is nice, but it does need a lot of work. This will probably be taken out. Thank God. Um, the color scheme here, man, it's unreal. These sinks are not the greatest. One of them doesn't work, I believe. And then we have these strange shelves. Apparently there's an electric box, which is super safe considering it's close to water. <laughs> um, so yeah, there needs, oh, uh, this, this bathroom needs a decent amount of work, which will happen in due time. So I think I hit all the rooms present on the second floor. So that concludes the tour of the second floor. All right, tour of the third floor, let's go. On up, we have this cool skylight, which I don't think was original to the house, <laughs> but still cool nonetheless. So here we are at the third floor landing. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> I don't think this room has light. Yeah, no, it doesn't. But you can see this tiny little window. And then I guess they also installed a skylight here. 
Nice little armoire. And then we have the bathroom that I think corresponds to that room. Exposed wood, love the quirky windows. Kind of gives that boat appeal. Amazing. And then we have, well, let me show you. This hallway, we'll start with this room. I don't really mind the color in here. I don't think, we'll see. But we have a window there and a window there and some more exposed wood. Love this view out here. It's so beautiful. I'm excited to see what we do with these rooms. Next room, same dealio, same view as the one before, and more exposed wood. So what happened here, I think, is that there was originally brick exposed, and then to insulate better, I'm guessing they put wall up. We're not entirely sure, but it definitely feels and looks newer. So this is the next room, same as the one we just saw. Um, in the same view, another little exposed brick window moment situation. Not sure what's down there. What is that? Ooh, light window. Hello, automatic light. There we go. All right, next room. This one's the biggest, I think. Maybe second biggest. Not sure but two port windows peeking out. Is that open? No. Okay. We're good. We have a light, actually. There we go. Lovely light. So cute. I would probably want to stay in there. Next room. We have this here. As you can probably hear, these floors weren't very well done. So we're thinking they might need to be redone. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess this is just like a little storage thingy, which had the light on for some reason. We'll go ahead and turn that off. And then we have the ward of bathrooms once more, all corresponding to a bedroom. And we have skylights, which it's kind of cool because you can see the top of the cliff there. So I like that. Another bathroom. What's behind here? Oh, a toilet. I'm exploring this as you are. <laughs> Another window looking out on the cliff. Pretty cool. Continue on. And did we go in here already? I can't remember. I don't think so. But okay, yeah. Another bathroom. So. We'll go along this way. I think there's more bedrooms actually. Through this way again, I should have gone down more. There we go. Yep, there's more. Those are the windows that look out. And then we have this room. And this one actually has an ensuite bathroom as well, which is nice. We have something to work with there. So that's good. We love that. And they've gone ahead and named all these rooms, which is kind of funny. And then ensuite bathroom and another bathroom board. There we go. This one has nice exposed wood. So I think that pretty much completes the third, the third floor tour. Yeah. Voila, there you have it. All right, with the last bit of light I have on my very last day, I just want to take you outside with me to show you the grounds. But you'll see over there, there's an opening gate. Keep going. And 
this is the courtyard. This is the caretaker's cottage, and I'll just step into it. It's not in the best of shape. These stairs lead you up, up, up along the cliff, and there's actually this gorgeous path you can go on a walk in. Here's the caretaker's cottage. <laughs> Definitely an estate, and I'm not sure what the plan is for that. It might be getting gutted. Unsure. Here's the courtyard. I want to clear this out. Clean it out. Put some table and chairs, some beautiful string lights, and enjoy here. This was originally the chapel, and it's carved into the cave. It's actually really cool in here, like temperature wise, not only just cool, but like temperature cool. <laughs> For now, we're storing like outdoor tools, but there was originally a chapel in here, which is pretty cool. Let's stop saying cool. Then over here, this little room was used as a bakery. And you can see all the ovens, table, I'm not sure what that was used for. That is the fireplace with a chimney. And then what's pretty awesome is back here, it was an old secret passageway that led up to the cliff, which allowed people to escape maybe during like World War II, I'm not sure when they would have needed to escape. But here is a view of the house from the courtyard. So pretty. We haven't gotten our dryer yet, so that's what this line is for. And then this little house here, we think was like a bathroom. We want to turn it into a bar, if I'm being honest. I think that was the hole for the bathroom or the toilet. And then that was like a shower. But it's looking like we might need to turn this into a bar. What do you think? And then through here, these gates, we come to the side yard and gosh, just the most like spectacular view. Um, these bushes will come back to life in due time. We just have to treat them appropriately. You'll also see here, this is where they kept their horses, um, but there's nothing really to see in the inside there. And yeah, so more cliff view. found a well that is now a little garden and then that's the gate to the rest of the property um, we're on about five acres of land so if you keep walking there's a path that you can walk through and there's also a path up on the cliff um, which is so gorgeous but bring you back this way We'll keep walking around the house. You can see the exterior as well. Sure. Ooh, Aperol spritz. Hey. Wow. Wow. It's pretty bad. We might need a mosquito thing. Sorry, I'm chewing. Oh my god. Didn't even think of that. And here's the front of the house. Thanks, Olivia, for a great video. Uh, I've been pretty overwhelmed with all of the amazing <laughs> response I've had on the first two videos, so thank you very much. I've done my best to try and respond to everybody's comments. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been very time consuming. So thank you for those. They've all been crazy positive and um, very uh, affirming, I guess is probably the best word. So thank you. Anyway, I guess if you could hit the 
subscribe button. <laughs> I think that's what you're supposed to say. Anyway, subscribe. And um, I head back in two days to France, so looking forward to setting up some more video and uh, giving you a rundown of what's been going on and what uh, some of the challenges I have ahead. And uh, yeah, I'll be curious to see what you think of the <laughs> Warren of Bathrooms. Um, I had a friend suggest maybe we give everybody a robe so they can get to the bathroom uh, without having to undress. And um, we'll see. Maybe that will be a fun thing for people. I don't know. Anyway, I'll be, I'll be curious to hear your comments. So see you in the next video. Bye.